Right now we have the Valley Sky Cam pointed off across the Red River into Minnesota. I 94 there a little on the busy side as we head into the evening, but no weather woes heading into our evening either as we still are enjoying milder than average temperatures, but we're cooling rather quickly 41 degrees this hour out at Hector and it's 41 as well in Moorhead this hour. Wind is from the west at seven miles per hour. Here's a look at temperatures across the region. Just coming down off that 60 plus degree day in Sisseton 56 right now, 45 Valley City. 39 though in Cavalier and we have upper 30s extending out towards Bedette and Roseau as well. Mid 40s this hour in Lakes Country. Here's a look at the winds. Now we still have south warm winds on the east side of the Red River, but out to the west, Things have changed direction a little bit, and we're going to usher in some cooler air as we head into our second day of the work week. Here's a look at the satellite and radar. Here are the clouds that were stuck with us for the majority of the day. A little break in the cloud activity that created our glimpse or flash of the sun as we saw the sun set tonight. It was just gorgeous, but showers from Winnipeg down towards Rapid City are slowly advancing to the east. Now, the best chance at seeing some of this rain shower activity for your evening will be in northeast North Dakota from the uh, Harvey and New Rockford areas up towards Cavalier and uh, also the Hallock areas this evening. As we put things into motion, this batch of moisture down here slowly dries up as we go through the evening. So again, along and north of Highway 2, evening sprinkles a possibility, nothing too uh, wet. Now the wind shifts, becomes westerly and northwesterly, and it'll be breezy during the overnight. We all clear out overnight, and it does look like temperatures will slip to near freezing. So watch for some frosty or slippery sidewalks and roads. Tomorrow, the wind is from the west, and it will be gusty once again. Through midday, we won't have much to worry about for the majority of our viewing area, but along the international border and the Lake of the Woods area, a chance for some snow throughout the day. Winds will gust to 30 miles per hour, maybe even better up in our north and eastern counties. We'll see temperatures in the afternoon take a little bit of a setback for our southern counties as opposed to 50s. We're back in the 40s again, but this still well over our average for this time of the year. So here's a look at your hour by hour planner for Fargo 34 to start your morning, rising up about 10 degrees, clear skies for the majority of the day. But remember those gusty winds will make it feel a little cooler than your thermometer in the vehicle lets you know that it is. Here's a look at high temperatures in the afternoon. We're expecting 20s and 30s in the far north as we head into the afternoon. Remember that chance of a flurry or two near Lake of the Woods. And we'll see the warmest weather from the Fargo area and point south where we could once again be in the mid 40s or maybe a renegade 50 degree reading in the far south. A gorgeous Lake Julia sun uh, rise rather in the Bemidji area out there. Fiery skies indeed. Alette, thank you for sharing your photo. Here's your planner then. Now the warm weather does continue after a little bit of a cool off on our Tuesday. We're right back to near 50 on Wednesday and there will be a chance of some late rain, maybe snow up north as we transition into Thursday as another little weather wiggle blows its way through the region. That will bring some cooler temperatures again on Thursday. But look at this, still above 40 degrees. Quiet and mild Friday. The weekend looks dandy, although the wind increases and clouds increase on Sunday ahead of our next system, which promises to return us to some more average temperatures for this time of the year by Monday of next week. Some snow and 30s will make their return. Mm, we prefer above average. It's easy right. to get outside yeah. and get lights hung and things like that in weather like this. It sure is. Thank you. You bet.